And finally, new rule now that graduation season has ended and we won't be spoiling anyone's big day, let's talk about what higher education in America really is. A racket that sells you a very expensive ticket to the upper middle class. <laughs> President Biden's American Families Plan asks the taxpayers to pony up hundreds of billions so that everyone can go to college, and billions more for a subsidized childcare so our kids can go to school while we go to school. The theory being that all this education trickles down and eventually gets to Florida. <laughs> now, <clears throat> now, the right is calling Biden's plan social engineering, which is over the top, but Biden's plan is an endorsement of a particular idea, that the more time humans spend in classrooms staring at blackboards, the better. Liberals see more school the way Republicans see tax cuts, as the answer to everything. We imagine going to college is the way to fight income inequality, but actually it does the reverse. If you have a bachelor's degree, you make about 65% more than someone who doesn't. And with a master's degree, it's more like 100% more. And the unemployment rate of college grads is about half what it is for high school grads. I know free college is a left-wing thing, but is it really liberal for someone who doesn't go to college and makes less money to pay for people who do go and make more? I'm asking. <laughs> Especially since colleges have turned into giant luxury daycare centers with overpaid babysitters anxious to indulge every student whim. The University of Missouri has a river grotto inspired by the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Texas Tech has one of the largest water parks in the country that includes a 25-person hot tub, tanning deck, water slide, and a lazy river. <laughs> a third of students now spend less than five hours a week studying, and when they do, it's for their onerous magnum cum bullshit course load of sports marketing history through Twitter. <laughs> Advanced racist spotting, intro to microaggressions, and you owe me an apology 101. <laughs> <laughs> Why is China kicking our ass? Because in 2019, we issued more undergrad degrees in visual and performing arts <laughs> than in computer and information science or math. Say what you want about Lori Laughlin. at least she understood that one good scam deserves another. <laughs> and in the immortal words of her daughter, Olivia Jade, I don't know how much school I'm going to attend, but I do want the experience of, like, game days and partying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fucking paying for that. <laughs> In 1960, colleges awarded A's to 15% of the students. Well, now it's 45%. And it's not because they got smarter. It's because of Adderall. No. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But also, colleges are businesses selling a consumer product for hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they want to give the customers what they want, a magical piece of paper called a diploma. But that's only the beginning of the scam. A wannabe librarian needs a master's degree just to get an entry-level job filing books. You know, I've heard this from so many nurses and teachers and administrators <clears throat> rolling their eyes when relating how they needed to take some bullshit course in order to advance in their field. And really, they already learned what they need by working the job. But in the... <clears throat> But in the grift that is our higher education, when you want to move up, hold on there, not so fast, toll booth ahead, you need to pay for more education before we decide if you can do what you do. Fuck, this is what Scientology does. Makes you keep taking courses to move up to the bridge of total freedom. <laughs> in the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church 
famously sold indulgences, which were just tickets to heaven that you could buy. Well, now another priesthood of academia sells a different ticket to heaven. And because it's so necessary, colleges can charge whatever they want. Since 1985, the average cost of college has risen 500%. What other business? It doubles every nine years. Every year it increases at four times the rate of inflation. And yet no one knows how to change a tire. The answer isn't to make college free. The answer is to make it more unnecessary, which it is for most jobs. <laughs> so that the two-thirds of Americans who either can't afford to or just don't want to go don't feel shut out. Because the system we have sets up this winner-loser dynamic and breeds resentment that working hard has less value than sitting around in this thing. <laughs> and that, that in turn feeds into our widening political division. Or, as one recent politician put it, I love the poorly educated. <laughs>